Hi, it's Simon Stockhausen here. Let me show you some basic functions of 2C Audio's kaleidoscope resonator effect or synthesizer, depending on what you use it for and how you use it. So the whole thing is a resonator, which creates resonances of incoming audio or the internal noise generator. Um, I programmed a little sequence here in Chromophone. Let's listen to that and use that as an example to explain some basic functions. <laughs> So that was the dry signal. This is now the kaleidoscope signal. Using this textural image to create resonances. And there are three basic components. Um, you have the image which shapes the pitches and the amplitude of the resonances. Then you have, in this area, you can load tuning files, which will um, sort of pitch quantize the resonances. Or you can use waveforms, which can be switched on here, like waveform mode, you have different modes which I will elaborate on in a later video. You can set fixed hertz if you want, or you can use musical no, uh, root note related. That's what we are using now. Here you have the feedback, meaning um, the higher the feedback, the more resonances and the longer the resonances become, and the less um, recognizable the original audio will become. Let's um, have a look at that. So if you turn it down, kaleidoscope will work more like a filter really. Turn up the volume here. Now I turn up And now this is only using the input, um, like the chromophone sequence. Now if I turn up this slider, Kaleidoscope will add um, no white noise. Values below 100% work like um, envelope follow. Like a little white noise is added to each accent, incoming accent enhancing the transients of the audio material, which is often useful because if you have a rather dull or dark signal, um, not enough high resonances will be created. So you can add to taste this slider. Let's try this. And values be, uh, above 100 will turn Kaleidoscope into a synthesizer, like ig mainly ignoring the incoming audio signal and just using the white noise to um, excite the resonators. So let's turn it up to something like this. So now the, the rhythm of the chromophone sequence is like lost 
and a continuous white noise stream is um, exciting. The resonator is using this image for pitch, amplitude, pitch and amplitude. Now, let's move on, turn the noise back down, start again the chromophone. Now here you have a modulation knob, which lets you select all sorts of different modulations, which I will not elaborate on because I could I talk a week about, about that. But this button is crucial. It will drastically change the sound and choose different kinds of relations between the parameters. Here you switch the modes. Turn it up, it's a bit soft maybe. Add a bit of white noise. Here's a um, sort of dry wet function. If this is set to zero, the signal is fully processed by this first module, the input module we are now in. If you turn this up, um, a, a part of the dry signal is sent into the second module, which is here, which is not activated now. So you could you can work with balances between the modules which is very useful in many cases. Now let's look at this width knob. As you have noticed, this is a very colorful image. Um, red and green are the crucial colors in kaleidoscope because they create stereo images, stereo audio. If you turn this to the middle, Everything is centered and you have a normal stereo signal. Now if you turn it to either side... You see left and right are determined by the colors. There are different sub modes here, input cross, the total width. If you have it b above um, 100, then you can create like quite a lot of phasing mayhem, like the left um, side is then also rooted to the right and vice versa creating like things around your head and it's quite interesting. Um, if you have it on to 100, set to 100, then you have a normal left, maximum left, right at, at a maximum level of on either side, if you know what I mean. Now here we have a random button, randomize the pitch, which creates um, like a detune effect between the resonators. If you have it to zero, No detuning, now full up. You get the idea. Also here you have different modes. And the maximum random phase. So you get very rich detuned effects if you want.
Now, another crucial, very important part of the interface is this, where you choose the five different resonator modes. We have now a string resonator activated. There's a dual string, there's a sort of granular delay mode, and here we have um, sine waves, like the, gen the resonances will be sine waves, double sine wave, string, like th that, that's actually a physically modeled string, basic, um, based on mathematics. Um, yes, let's not elaborate too long on everything. Now another important thing is, if you use the string mode, which we are doing now, are those damp knobs, which is actually filtering the resonances in different filters, in different modes. So the more you turn this to the left, the duller the signal will get. And certain filters, which you activate here, also have a resonance, a cue, which will enhance the frequency that you dial in here. Bandpass filter if you want. If you turn that up, the high resonance here, you can get self resonating effects sometimes. This knob here is like a damping knob. You more you turn it to the right, um, the more high resonances will get damped, reduced, decreased. Also here you have different modes. Which you dial in here. So this is like flat. And here you have two more filters, which you can use either the high cut for the input, output or both, so, which is a general filter to shape the overall sound. Here also you can choose the slope of the filter. Turn this off. And here's a low cut. Just the basic same functions. In, out, you know. And the slope. So that's basically blah, basically an overview of the interface. For fun, let's turn on the output module, which has some... So this is now a combination of the signal. Turn in some noise. So here you see how drastically the modulation knobs changes an image of the sound. Now it's green, it's all right. Turn width to middle, it's center.
Okay, that should be enough for a first overview. Have fun with Kaleidoscope.